Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. It's shopping day. I've been waiting for this day for the last couple weeks because I knew I was going to try to make better choices with my shopping today. So let's go and I'll show you where I'm at. My favorite place, Winco. So let's see how much I can get. Sure is cold outside. Now, I didn't bring a list, but I brought a calculator. <laughs> Winco has so many different fruits and vegetables. So if you're trying to come and eat and look healthy, this is a good place to shop. I will certainly have a large assortment of bread, right? There's like a ton of it here. Well, then we start getting into some like Graham or little Debbie stuff over there. Okay, I'm starting to unpack and I could not have been happier leaving Winco with the price that I paid. So let me show you what I got and I need to put those things away in the freezer. So let's get started. So while I am and Paul are trying to eat a little bit healthier, it's the new year, it's kind of like a good time to recharge, I still have to be mindful of the kids. So I am still catering to what they still like and but I for our dinners we eat together and I've asked them to have open minds <laughs> but for their lunches and stuff for Ezra macaroni and cheese he seemed to have liked these the last time I went and got them I did get some potato round for a tater tot casserole I just got these in case I feel like I need something you know what I'm talking about right those are the pretzels filled with cheese. I know it sounds so gross, but something about them just makes me like them. I don't know. Um, I got a Red Baron pizza, just a cheese one. The kids like cheese pizza. I also then got some chicken breast that um, we're gonna be making some meals with, with, you know, rice and veggies and all that fun stuff. Fun stuff. <laughs> And in, to add into the rice, I tend to put some riced cauliflower. So um, what I will do is I'll probably add about a half of a cup to about a cup of rice and then serve it with our meal. It's even better if I can mix it in the sauce, so to say, so that way it takes on more of the flavor of like the orange chicken or the teriyaki chicken or whatever it is that we're having. And then the kids really don't notice, but I have one kid who's like, I can always tell and I don't think he can. <laughs> I got some frozen corn and I don't ever buy these, but frozen um, patties, uh, hamburger patties. Paul usually forms them out for us, but I thought these would be really easy and good go-to meals when I'm just trying to hurry. And I thought we would make like cheeseburger salad. Mm. So I'm gonna put those in the freezer right now. I got Ezra's favorite, some waffles, some chocolate chip waffles. And let me tell you that little boy knows the difference between the store brand and the Eggos. So these were fine at Winco. They were like under $4, like $3.78 I believe. So that wasn't bad. And I also bought two of these. These are really, really great tasting barbecue chicken teriyaki. This is what I'm talking about. It comes with its own sauce. So what I'll do is add the rice and veggies to it and kind of get it all mixed in. That way boys don't um, moan and groan when they have to eat veggies because it's got all that yummy teriyaki all over it. This is a good one. So they also have this out at Trader Joe's as well and it's very, very comparable. So it's like this eating the same thing, really. I got some more ground beef. I like the lean. This is under five bucks, 93.7. Plus, Winco has a really great assortment of meats. So I got some um, Italian-style pork sausage, which I'll be making a recipe for that. Stay tuned. I got some carne asada, which is great on the grill. We'll have that with some corn tortillas so good i even got like the peppers and you'll see and then i got some pork carnitas which are so good like cooked in the crock pot shredded can make tacos but i was kind of thinking we'd put it on some baked potatoes so it'll be super good i have some veggies to share with you i got six bunches of celery for the juice 
I got these, instead of buying Roma tomatoes, which are my favorite, I thought I would just buy some grape tomatoes because then I could probably just snack on them and through the day. So those will go perfect on our salad, which I forgot to buy the lettuce, of course. But I did buy some zucchinis. I bought five of them. I have a, that's part of my, um, I have a recipe for that. I bought a couple of these for snacking. I got uh, five cucumbers only because they were on a great sale. They were 38 cents each. So I thought, yep, that's what we'll be snacking a lot on. And then I got some cuties. So there's more, hold on. <laughs> okay, so we have some butter. So we always use enough butter. So I always have to have it around. And I got some flavored oatmeal because I thought if the kids weren't having the, um, the waffles and they can make some oatmeal in the morning and they're good for taking with like to, with Paul and work you can just take a couple with him I got Kobe really likes these Hawaiian rolls so I thought because we're still on vacation with school so we still have like another half week so um, I thought that would be good for now because they'll be gone in like tomorrow by tomorrow I got a couple of grandma sycamores if you haven't had grandma sycamore you need to try it just because it is so such a favorite bread of our families and lots of our friends too. So um, this is kind of our go-to brand. Um, if you haven't had it, I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments if you haven't had it. <laughs> and if you have had, you can let me know too. Because it's some good stuff. Okay, I got some croutons for salads. I got milk for, I don't know. It just feels like I should have a little bit just in case I have a recipe. Um, I have some eggs. I'll be hard boiling some for little mini meals for myself. And um, maybe I can get some of the boys to eat like egg and cheese burritos. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so I told you I had more fruits and vegetables. I got a couple bunches of bananas. Perfect for breakfast, right? On the go. This hair that's like, okay. I got some broccoli. That'll be perfect with teriyaki bowls, don't you think? Um, I got an onion and bell peppers to make some fajitas or um, something that we can make with the little tacos. And then I got some apples. Those are about three pounds of Fuji apples, like three bucks. And I got something that I've never done before. I got a spaghetti squash. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Hello. That's my teacher side. Let me know in the comments if you use spaghetti squash. Um, I was looking online and I thought it would be super easy to use it, um, to prepare it. It's just getting everybody to eat it. So I think I might just actually try it like spaghetti, but and then put like a, a sauce on top, like with meat and, and put it on top of the, the spaghetti squash. Let me know what would be a re really, really good, easy beginning recipe if, you've, if, you, if you use these a lot. There, now that there's more space on the counter, I thought I would just bring you down here. So I got some cookies. These cookies are such a good price and they are yummy. So I have to think, hopefully these will last till next week, but knowing my boys, I'll do my best. <laughs> but they're like a dollar to a dollar 50 each. Uh, the same thing with the chips and some Diet 7-Up, just sounded good. Some cottage cheese, I thought I would put that like on a plate with, you know, some fruits and veggies with them just for more protein. Got some sour cream, sliced medium cheddar, which is super good, my favorite. This is some more Crystal Light. Oh, and yes, you're probably seeing the flip phone. My boys carry flip phones. <laughs> Uh, prego because I'm gonna be doing some like Italian type dishes there's our big bag of potatoes and of course I had to get gum and the last time we went to Winco Ezra and I had bought this gum and we wish we had bought more so I bought a bunch it is so good um, I just got some things for the house some paper towels some toiletry stuff but we were out really a big baggies and aluminum foil so I had that as well. So like I said, I was super happy leaving Winco because I spent $152. That was a lot of stuff, don't you think?
So I feel really good about the choices I made. Plus, I was still able to keep some of those like staples that the boys will eat anyways. So I'm just happy about all of that. Plus, we're gonna have a lot of stuff going on in the next week or so, in the next couple weeks. I'll keep you informed, but right now, just know that inside my heart, I am feeling lots of joy and I'm overwhelmed in a good way. So I'm so grateful for all of you. Thanks for stopping by and stick around. There's more coming. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Have a good day.